Hello. I'm looking for my friend. Kimberly. Have you seen her? got like dangly earrings with sausages on them. <laughs> when they're not in her ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's really, really tall and just pierced up as high as he could reach me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for her outside, but there are right big dogs sniffing up at me espid's wills. <laughs> I don't know what sort of dog it was. It was really, really woolly. <laughs> That sort that usually has four wheels and a handle. <laughs> We're having a day out, but we got separated. We said we'd meet up in here. We're having a great day out round town today. We've done a lot. Tried shoes on, had salad. <laughs> it's our day off from the supermarket. You know, cheap save. We both work there. Kimberly chops meat, right big bits. <laughs> Don't chop them, she just snaps them in two. <laughs> I'm on pricing. Like if, if Mrs. Gupta on our till, she gets to a red cabbage unpriced. She goes, red cabbage, how much? <laughs> and I go, red cabbage, no idea. Quite <laughs> a responsibility. <laughs> Nice, Mrs. Gupta. She comes from, oh, where is it? It's got a really funny name. So, right long way away, <gasps> Kidderminster. <that's laughs> I never thought there'd be so many people here, actually. But you can't miss Kimberly because she's really, really tall. She's usually got bits of ceiling stuck in her hair. <laughs> she's got a right interesting hairdo because we had it done this morning. We went to this really trendy salon. Kimberly had a spiral perm and a Mohican. And I had my berry trimmed. <laughs> Then we went to this really great boutique. We tried loads of things on, but Kimberly's like really, really enormous. So she had to buy the only thing that fitted. And it's not everybody that suits a cubicle. <laughs> she ain't got it on now, though. She's left it. She's having the doors taken up. <laughs> then we went to this really sophisticated French restaurant. There was a man playing the piano, just like Richard Clayderman, only quicker. <laughs> And the waiter was gorgeous. He said to Kimberly, ooh, you've got lovely dimples in your cheeks. Well, they're not dimples. The holes where she had to kebab sideways. <laughs> but he brought the menu all in French. Well, I don't know French. So I said, excuse me, what does this mean? He said, that's 10% service charge. <laughs> I said, I'll have that and some lettuce. <laughs> and I had a cocktail. Well, I had half a shandy with an umbrella in it. But Kimberly was really, really naughty. Because she had five pints. Five pints of sherry. <laughs> but we had to leave soon after that. <laughs> and I don't know why police women have to hold your elbows so tight. <laughs> oh, Kimberly was only playing the piano. You'd think they'd be right impressed anybody could play chopsticks with one nipple. <laughs> <laughs> then we hung round outside the town hall for a bit. Kimberly sat down on the town hall steps till they started to sag in the middle. She had to get up. <laughs> She said, do you want to come to the pictures? I said, well, I'm not going to a horror film. Cos when Kimberly screams, you can see all that oovala. <laughs> she's usually got hot dogs sticking to it. <laughs> and she wouldn't come to a comedy with me, cos when I laugh, chips come down my nose. <laughs> so we compromised. We went to see Mary Poppins 2. <laughs> the Revenge. <laughs> Well, Kimberly insisted on sitting in the balcony, so that broke away from the wall. We had to go in the stalls. <laughs> then a man next to Kimberly put his hand on her knee. He was sorry, though, after. <laughs> when she ate it. <laughs> She's really, really good with perverts, Kimberly. Like, if somebody flashes at me, I just run away. If they do it to Kimberly, she stops. She gives a marks out of ten for presentation. <laughs> Then she insisted on going in a cocktail bar and mixing up her own cocktail. Well, the first two ingredients were a galvanised bucket and some paraffin. <laughs> then she did some really interesting break dancing. 
It's not easy in an ambulance. <laughs> well, no, I left her in casualty. No, she's all right. I said, I'll come on here. She's all right. She's not badly hurt or anything, because she's very, very tough. She got run over by a car last week. The only thing that was damaged at all was the exhaust pipe. <laughs> so I said, I'll come on here and get in the queue. But I've been stood here ages now, haven't I? I'm no near the counter. You were all here before me, weren't you? <laughs> Have you had your burgers? <laughs> not the wimpy. <laughs> Ooh, I wondered. <laughs> I wondered when I saw the piano. I thought, mm, it must have gone really, really upmarket. <laughs> Kimberly must be next door. So dad laughing when I tell her I've been studying all this time in the bingo hall. 